This morning, we continue our celebration of 30 years of Sunday morning with the traditional 30th anniversary gift, pearls. Borrowed pearls, alas. Compliments of the folks at Mickey Moto here in New York City. We do have to send them back at the end of the show. As fans of the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's well remember, it's hard to take your eyes off pearls. This morning, our Barry Peterson investigates their mystique. They're there if you look. <laughs> Around the necks of women thought to be among the world's most beautiful. Poets, philosophers, artists try to capture them with words or pictures, but really, it's about getting lost in their deep luster. People have been using pearls since ancient times to adorn themselves. And over the course of that long history, a lot of traditions have been created. The one we still celebrate today is about giving the woman you love pearls on your 30th wedding anniversary. I think it's only natural that they evolved into one of the foremost symbols of the wedding anniversary. At Tiffany's on Fifth Avenue, gemologist Peter Snarla, a true fan of the pearl. There are only gem material that comes out of the box ready to be worn, meaning that there's no uh, additional interaction by man necessary to reveal their beauty. Queen Elizabeth could afford all the rare, expensive, natural pearls she wanted. Pearls created when an oyster coats a nucleus of grit to ease its irritation. Then the persistent son of a Japanese noodle maker, Kokichi Mikimoto, invented a technique so man could imitate nature and stimulate oysters into making pearls, with a big thank you to the United States. Oysters rejected most materials tried as a nucleus until he discovered in the 1890s what is used to this day. It works if the nucleus is made from a Mississippi River clam called the pig toe. Once inserted, it is layered by the oyster, and in two or three years, a cultured pearl is born. And a rare 5% make it to Mikimoto's Tokyo showroom, where Yasuo Suzuki has been adorning women for 40 years. This string of pearls is more than 50,000 US dollars. Why? Because it's so difficult to get together. So you've matched them all perfectly? Yes, perfectly. Joe DiMaggio and his bride smile bravely. And it was to Mickey Moto that Joe brought Marilyn on their Japanese honeymoon. Mr. Deep Maggio, the baseball player, bought a very lovely graduated pearl necklace for her. You're only allowed 500 calories for From the 50s, when Harriet ruled the kitchen in pearls, to modern working woman Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City, who finds them the perfect accessory. The look has been classic. But now, as pearl enthusiast Kaniko Katsukata explains, there are new designs for the woman who wants it all, formal and friendly. These pearls are from my mother. Adding this bracelet makes it more special, and I can wear them all the time. Back to tradition. Our first ladies, like Jackie and Barbara Bush, wore pearls. And now, Michelle Obama, whose husband often harkens back to Abe Lincoln, who gave pearls to his wife, Mary Todd. Here is a black pearl from Tahiti. That is very popular right now. Mr. Suzuki presented Mrs. Suzuki cultured black pearls on their 30th anniversary. So we asked, what should Barack give Michelle when they reach 30 years of marriage? His advice, they should be matched, and there should be many. If we make them the three or four strands, very long necklace, that is really lovely on her, and she will be very happy with this. Think of it this way, gentlemen. Maybe you can't take credit for nature's beauty, but he who gives them on that 30th anniversary can surely win her heart all over again.